Hello you guys, honestly too petty here and for today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a trait for Sims 4. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website, I'll leave the link in the description, and download three, the top three out of four. You do not need the last one, you don't need the last one, but you do need the other three. Well, this one is only really needed if you feel like reading it would be better than me explaining it to you because he gives the instructions, Zerbu gives the instructions for you to read. But for some people like me, I need to see it in order to really learn, like see someone do it for me really. So the top one is going to be the most important. After you download all of these, you're just going to want to open it up. And after you open it up, you should see all this. This will be blank for you. So you should see all of this here. This will be on the screen. At first it could be a little bit confusing. You won't see these down here though. These are my traits that I've created. So first thing you want to do is um, put your name or whatever you want to call yourself. So today I'm going to be using uh, Sims for Trait Maker. That's what we're going to call it. Oops, spelled trait wrong. Sims for Trait maker and I'm gonna name my mod name I'll name it after the trait I'm gonna be making and the trait I'm gonna be making today will be the hmm um let's say prep preppy trait I don't know we're gonna click on create mod so now it's gonna be here you're gonna click select element create element and then click trait create element or name your trait we're gonna name it prep I hate that I hate that so much preppy trait stuck up that's basically snob but oh well stuck up oh well it's fine create element we're gonna have it for five ages which would be child teen young adult adult and elder you could have it for more to go further than that, but I don't want that. So we're going to name our trait, which is stuck up. Oops, stuck up. The description. Your sim is so full of themselves. Um, your sim is so full of themselves. This sim, maybe I should say this sim. Because this will be the description that you read when you're in create a sim. This is what you're going to be seeing. This sim is so full of themselves. They don't know what's stuck up there. Back side. I guess this is why this is the name of the trait. Period. I guess this is why that is the name of the tree. Stuck up. This sim is so full of themselves, they don't know what's stuck up their backside. I guess this is why that is the name of this trait. That's so hard to read, but okay. Now on this part, we're going to choose the icon. All you have to do is click on it. Select icon. For this one, the best choice would, click on, would be to click on headlines. Because I feel like this was sticking more with other traits instead of BG buffs, which is not really like colored as a trait would be. So I think headlines fit it better. We're gonna go for stuck up. I think, what is this? I don't know what would really signature stuck up. We're just gonna have to go with this one. This one looks good. And the trait category, which will, when you go on cast, it'll be like, of course, you already know different categories so I think this one should go in life social social lifestyle we'll put it in social it probably doesn't belong in there but oh well now we're gonna go to core bus which like it says these buffs are always active regardless of any condition while the sim has a trait we're gonna add one click on it and then element tree build tree we're gonna click on buff and we're just gonna leave this the way it is no emotion weight emotion happy but leave it alone nothing should be added here now we're going to go to features and we're going to go to continuous loot we're going to add 
continuous loop controller. Click on this. Press add. Your numbers, your numbers and letters are going to be randomly generated. It doesn't really matter what they say. You're going to click on that. And you're going to click on the type. For active buff, this means the buff will appear when the sim starts meeting the term, the test conditions, and disappear when the sim no longer meets them. Meaning, say you choose to make your sim a computer sim. While your sim is on the computer, they will be getting this buff, but the second they get off, it leaves. You can either have that or a timed buff. So your sim will get on the computer, and then the buff will start, they'll get off, but since it's a timed buff, it will continue for however many more hours you choose. For this one, we're having a stuck up sim. Um, I think we're gonna have it be timed. So it's for test conditions, you're gonna add, click on the random generate, dream blah, blah, blah. You get what I'm saying. Then click on add again, click on that again. Test condition type should be running interactions. And then here, this, this is where the interactions come in. So when do you want this buff to pop up? You might want the buff to pop up when your sim is well, mine's a stuck-up sim, so we're going to say when she's being mean, it'll pop up. So let's add it. Oh, but that was wrong. You do not click add because it's just going to be a blank reference. We don't want blank references. We're going to click set presets so we can get references that are already made. So when she, my sim's stuck up, hmm, I think being mean, we're going to, by mocking people, I saying blah 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 how do we do it hold control so you're gonna hold control for that one to click more than one. Oh my gosh so th those two seem pretty stuck a rude remark those seem stuck up so i'm gonna add that there so they're here now and we're gonna add some more set presets so she's not only gonna be mean maybe mischievous no no what else is a bit of a stuck up thing? Fight. Oh, no. Just. <laughs> mm. It's crazy because you can't really be that stuck up in this game. That's not really being stuck up, though. It's just being mean. Um. Criticize Muhu to me. I know that has to be here. Dang it, it's not. That's pretty stuck up. <laughs> but basically, all I'm saying is that you can add however many as you want. But I can't seem to find any more that I want. Maybe this can be stuck up like a more she's full of herself type of thing. Maybe I should change the name of the of the trait, huh? Ooh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna change the name of the trait. Well, I'm gonna change the name of my trait. We're gonna go back to this. Instead of stuck up, we're going to have it be named Diva. There we go. This sim is so full of themselves, they don't know what's stuck up their backside. I spelled there wrong. Oh my gosh. They know they are great and are proud of it. That's what makes them divas. There we go. I like this trait a lot more. <laughs> okay, so now we're back to where we were, right? You have all this open. That's perfect. So I think I'm going to add more presets. That's enough for that. So those are going to be all her interactions. You don't have to touch anything else here. And that's going to be it. Okay, so basically what I did was click on... Continuous loop. Oh, so I'm here, right? I clicked on continuous loop controller under stuck up buff continuous loop controller. Stuck up won't be here. Your trait name will be here, but this is basically how you get back to it, right? If you decide to leave, also. Then I'm gonna click on continuous loop random generated whatever time buff. This is all everything I created, right? Now you should see buff options down here. So, buff reason, from being a diva, or from being, oopsie, or from being whatever your trait name is, period, buff name, um, shimmer, 
and shine. Pretty sure that's a shell, but it sounds like something a diva would do, so. Buff description. Your sin is being in their element. Mm. In their natural state of diva -ocity. Ocity. Mm. Oh well, not a word, but I'll make it up. This is where they belong and are comfortable being. Okay. So for the icon, for the buff icon, so this is where you go to, to BG buffs because this is where buffs will fit in. Headlines won't necessarily fit in because it'll look too weird being where the buffs belong. So, where is it? This is where your sim belongs. Blah, blah, blah. Um, we're gonna have something that's a bit cocky. That one. Shimmer and shine. Buff emotion, happy. Buff emotion, wait. One. We're gonna actually have it be confident. Time buff options. Okay. So this is how long it's gonna last. We're gonna have ours last 120. The cooldown also be 120. And we're gonna leave it here. So we're pretty much done with this part. We can build the tree. Now we're gonna click on whims. Now this is this is the part where we add a bit of personality to our trait. So now that my sim is diva, she's gonna wanna. What is she gonna wanna do? I don't have it for toddlers. I don't have it set for it to be allowed to toddlers, so it won't be important for me to set it. Blah, blah, blah. It won't be important for me to set toddler whims because the trait is not for toddlers. If yours is, then toddler whims will be a good thing to have. Mischief. So she, she's gonna wanna. She'll wish to troll the web forums play she'll wish to do all of these basically because she's a diva i'm sorry there's like so many options for like a diva but basically all i'm saying is you can put as many as you want have as many set as you think you might need so I think that's all I'm gonna outgoing scream snob. We'll have a lot of snob. We'll have a lot of snob stuff there. So with that we just have that done. We're gonna click build tree again. Then we're gonna click on whim set. Whim reason from diva trait. Yes. We're gonna leave all this alone, and everything like this needs to stay the same. Now, once you get to this point, you're basically done. This is literally like the basics of it. This is all you really need to have. I'm gonna click build tree one more time. You're basically done. That's all you need. Now, all you need to do is export to my desktop and the mod has been exported successfully. Now, I'm pretty much done with this. We close that. Sorry about the rough screen. And as you can see, the trait's here. So you're just gonna go to your, your Sims 4 folder and I'm gonna put it inside traits.